Hi, so I'm just going to show you quick how to uh, plot your documents once you've got everything all set and ready to turn it in. So right now I have this first one, A101, set up. We're going to do A1 through 5. So the first thing you're going to do is just go way up here to File and Print. And before you pick the top one, I want you to go to Print Setup and just check a couple of those. So in my case, um, I had already saved this one so that it got saved as kind of a default. Actually, let me show you what the default looks like. So this is the default here. Um, I'm centering my page. My paper size, however, is I want it to be Arch C, which is 18 by 24, which will fit what most of our sheet setups are. A couple of you might have Arch D. I know Adam has one that's a little bit bigger, so that's is where you'd control it also. And this will set up a default for all five that we'll do. Um, right now, I do want my paper centered. However, see where it says fit to page here? That might um, like that might shrink my drawing, which I don't want it to do. So I'm going to click Zoom, but leave it at 100 percent. What happens though is it changes up here. So this offset, what it allows you to do is you can um, basically, if you've done graphic design, when they talk about a gutter, extra white paper, you can control having extra paper or white space on the left or the right, depending on how you're binding your drawings. So again, a big sheet set of like 20 sheets is going to be stapled together in a way uh, where you often have to leave that margin. We don't need to worry about that right now. So we're going to have um, just print print limit, like it's going to be limited to the printer. Actually, no, we can have no because we're just PDFs. Um, so I'm going to force it back to center there. Um, everything else is pretty standard. We're just going to leave it here and say, okay. Um, uh, colors, actually, we want to, for those of you who might have any, um, your furniture popping up in color you want to make sure it's in black black lines or grayscale i'm going to pick grayscale because that will um, sometimes affect things in your section so we want to keep that if it looks a little weird we'll go back to black lines we'll see how that looks so we'll say okay uh, this is where i kind of had that first saved part as a default so what i'm going to call this is so this will save these settings for future ones if you want it's kind of sorry it's rolling now oh, but we have a little update too I'll pause if we can get this pause. There we go. Okay, so it's done saving. I go back up to here to file, print, and then just pick print. Um, there's a couple options. So we have Adobe PDF. Normally, we're going to check those, make sure that's all set up. But if for some reason you don't have Adobe PDF or it's being weird on you, this Microsoft print to PDF will also work. So we're going to stay on Adobe PDF, check the properties here. Uh, this is where it has already defaulted for us to Arch C. Paper quality, it's already defaulted to black and white. That's what we controlled kind of in that first, first window. So we'll say, OK, everything's set there. Uh, now there's a couple of things you can do. Revit will allow you to combine all these sheets, one through five, into one PDF document, which is very helpful in the professional world. And it's usually how we, we share whole sets with each other. However, these files can be huge. So I don't know if this option is going to be too big for Sage's Google. Google Drive limits. So I'd prefer you to actually do um, individual pages for this project. So in this case, I'm going to, I have it set for current window. If I did want to do the whole batch, I'd do this selected view sheets. And then if I select them, you can see down here, I can, I could check those already and kind of played around with that before. But for now, I just want this current window that I'm on. It's A101. Um, and the name of this, I want you to, I'm going to override the name here. I want you to have your last name. And then A101, and then sequentially through that. So I'll say OK. And there it is right there. We'll say Save. Oh, I'm replacing it because we've done a couple already. It'll pop up in a second to show you what it looks like. Here it is. Oops, where did I, I just lost it again. <laughs> it was here. There's a, this is what it looks like there. Um, this part does come in color. It's just kind of a default of that. Um, and so don't worry about that. But the rest of yours should be in black and white. And, um, and again, you're just going to work through one by one. So the next one, one oh, oh, I'm going to say, yes, hold on, cancel. I just want to open that guy up. There we go. Now I'm on A102. Same process, file, print, print. And again, I'm doing the current window. I'm going to call this one A102 now and say OK. And there it is, OK. And save it again. And then they're all set and ready to go. And so you just kind of work through each one up oh, there it is. There's a 102 popped up for us. Um, and so, like I said, I'd like you to do these 
each separately with your last name and then the number of the sheet set. And that's how you'll then hand them in and upload them to me that way too. All right, thank you. <laughs>